Your smartphone's compass is lying to you right now. Earth's magnetic North Pole is racing across the Arctic Ocean at 34 miles per hour, the fastest it's moved in four centuries, and taking our invisible planetary shield with it. For billions of years, Earth's magnetic field has wrapped around our planet like an enormous bubble, deflecting the solar wind and cosmic radiation that would otherwise strip away our atmosphere and sterilize the surface. This field emerges from something almost unimaginably deep, rivers of molten iron flowing through Earth's outer core, 1,800 miles beneath your feet, generating electric currents that create our magnetic shield. But those iron rivers are changing course, and as they do, they're quietly abandoning the Arctic. The magnetic field isn't uniform, it's a complex, shifting web of invisible force lines that loop from pole to pole. In recent decades, scientists have watched these field lines weaken dramatically over the Arctic and parts of the Atlantic. Satellite data reveals dead zones where the magnetic field strength has dropped by 15%, creating windows where solar particles can penetrate much deeper into our atmosphere. This isn't just an abstract geophysical curiosity. When satellites pass through these weakened zones, they experience sudden electronics failures. The European Space Agency has had to repeatedly adjust satellite orbits to avoid the worst affected regions. GPS signals, which depend on precise timing from satellites, begin to drift. In some Arctic areas, navigation systems can be off by miles. The culprit lies in Earth's core, where convection patterns that have remained stable for millennia are accelerating and reorganizing. Imagine vast underground rivers of molten iron, each one larger than the Amazon, suddenly changing direction and speed. These flows generate the magnetic field through a process called the geodynamo, essentially Earth operating as a massive, self-sustaining electromagnet. Recent seismic studies suggest these core flows are moving faster than they have in thousands of years. Computer models show that as warm, iron-rich material rises toward the Arctic, it's creating magnetic field lines that emerge from the core in new locations while the traditional northern magnetic pole loses strength and begins its sprint toward Siberia. But here's where the story takes an unexpected turn. Scientists initially feared this magnetic migration signaled an impending field reversal, an event where Earth's magnetic poles flip entirely, leaving the planet temporarily defenseless against cosmic radiation. These reversals have happened before, roughly every 200,000 to 300,000 years. We're overdue for one by about 100,000 years. However, new evidence suggests something more sophisticated might be happening the accelerating core flows aren't necessarily preparing for a complete collapse. Instead, they appear to be redistributing magnetic field strength, weakening it in some regions while reinforcing it in others. It's as if Earth's magnetic field is reorganizing itself to maintain overall stability, a planetary-scale immune response preventing total system failure. Think of it like a stressed electrical grid automatically rerouting power when certain lines fail. The magnetic field may be sacrificing the Arctic to preserve global coverage. This could explain why despite dramatic regional changes, Earth's overall magnetic field strength hasn't collapsed entirely. The timeline of these changes is accelerating. Magnetic North has moved over a thousand miles since the first measurements in 1831. With most of that movement, occurring in just the last few decades. Airports around the world regularly update their runway designations because the magnetic headings no longer match the painted numbers. The Tampa International Airport had to renumber its primary runway in 2011 when Magnetic North shifted enough to make the old designations obsolete. For life on Earth, this magnetic reshuffling carries both risks and reassurances. The weakened Arctic field does allow more cosmic radiation to reach high altitudes, potentially affecting airline crews and passengers on polar routes. Increased radiation exposure could also influence cloud formation and regional climate patterns in ways scientists 
are still working to understand. Yet Earth's magnetic field has guided our planet through ice ages, asteroid impacts, and massive volcanic eruptions while maintaining its protective embrace. The current changes, dramatic as they appear, might simply represent the field's natural flexibility, its ability to bend without breaking under the immense forces generated in Earth's core. As you check your phone's compass and get a slightly different reading than yesterday, you're witnessing a planetary process that connects your pocket to molten iron flowing thousands of miles below. Earth's magnetic field isn't just protecting us from space weather, it's actively reinventing itself, ensuring that protection continues even as the invisible architecture of our planet transforms around us. Our technology may need to adapt to this new magnetic reality, but Earth has been adapting for four and a half billion years. The field that shields us today is the same one that protected the first sparks of life in ancient oceans and is still finding ways to keep working even as it quietly abandons the Arctic. Subscribe for more Simulated Earth.